You know, for a while, all we heard about was quiet quitting. Workers saying they just didn't, you know, have enough motivation to put in 100% at work. Well, now folks are getting laid off. In fact, at last count, there's been the announcement of more than 400 job layoffs in the triad since the beginning of the year, and it's February. What's really interesting is the layoffs happen to younger people. Chances are they're posting about it as they're walking out the door. People are filming getting laid off. They're filming walking out. They're taking the snacks on their way out. Remember, they've grown up on TikTok. They've shared their, their setbacks. They've shared their breakthroughs. It could be a breakup with somebody. It could be getting into college. So it's absolutely normal for them to want to share on TikTok something as important as emotional. And for many of them, the very first time they've ever been laid off. Gen Z is just more comfortable than any other generation before in sharing what's going on in their lives. They've grown up with it. It's kind of a given. And as the expert says, posting it is much more natural than really talking about it. We see that Gen Z wants to share it. They want to get the feedback. And oftentimes they struggle to have vulnerable conversations in person. So they'll often have vulnerable conversations through technology. You see this. I talk to parents all the time. They're like, I can't get my kid to say anything important, like meaningful and vulnerable. But if I send a text, they'll tell me everything. 